Hello, bonjour. Je m'appelle Choco Denibo. Hi, my name is Choco Denibo. I am the 43rd Ashley Fellow, um, and I am one of the founding directors of Future Answers Services. We are a Black and Indigenous owned and operated youth led professional services enterprise based out of Calgary, Alberta, but we do operate Canada wide. So, when I found out that I was appointed as the 43rd Ashley Fellow, I was thrilled. I was excited. I was like, I don't know what an Ashley Fellow is, but this is incredibly exciting. And I had a chat with the Lady Eaton College and uh, the Godzalzi College, who are my co-sponsors. Um, and they really sort of said to me, we want you to come in, bring all of who you are and inter interject in our way of existence and let us know ways in which we can be better, ways in which we can grow, ways in which we can evolve and learn and do things differently. And it was a thrill uh, to be welcomed into an academic space with such openness and with such a desire to do things differently and with such a desire to, um, with such a desire for knowledge. And I think that's what makes the Ashley Fellowship so exciting is you have all these different people who are coming in from these different walks of life, from these different experiences, these different backgrounds, coming in and interjecting and inserting um, different ways of being into the university at various levels, both you know within the student body, amongst the faculty, amongst administrative folk, um, which keeps the university dynamic and keeps the university having to change, keeps the university from being static and from molding and from rotting, but really keeping it fresh and keeping it alive and re-injecting with it that blast of cold air that it needs to stay awake. So I was excited that I get to be a part of the university story, I get to be a part of the university's legacy, and that I hope that I'll be able to impact at least one student, if not more, throughout my time here. As someone who is um, young, racialized, francophone, all these different identities in what is currently Canada, um, I've often been dismissed in many spaces that I've entered into, right? I've entered into spaces where I'm not just the only black person, but the only non-white person, or I'm the youngest person in the room, or um, I'm the only non-English speaker in the room, or something else happens where when I try and contribute, it's dismissed, it's seen as less valuable, it's not seen as important, I'm seen as less valuable, I'm ignored. And so there's this one quote that I've always really loved, that I've always sort of gone back to, that has um, always sort of encouraged me in a way. Um, and it's um, a quote by Aristotle. Um, and it says something along the lines of, they, young people, have exalted notions because they have not been humbled by life or learned its necessary limitations. Moreover, their hopeful disposition makes them think themselves equal to great things, and that means having exalted notions. They would always rather do noble deeds than useful ones. Their lives are regulated more, than, uh, more by moral feeling than by reasoning. All their mistakes and the direction of doing things excessively and vehemently. They overdo everything, they love too much, hate too much, and the same with everything else. And so one of the reasons why I love that quote is because it shows that there's value in the life experiences that I bring. It shows that there's value in the expertise that I hold. And just because other people are not seeing that value doesn't mean that value does not exist. It's a reminder that there has always been generational divides, there have always been sort of people who have been put on the outcast, and they have found ways to make themselves heard. It makes me think of the people who came before me who were able to do great things for the many identities that I hold so that I'm able to live a freer life today. And so it reminds me the importance of pushing through, moving forward, and that I am where I need to be. And so my message to the greater Trent community is that you are where you're meant to be and that you hold value and that your importance, your expertise, your life experiences are valuable, they are important, they are, they are necessary, in fact, in making this place a better place um, and in allowing this place to evolve and grow and be a place that continues to welcome and embrace many different students of many different identities coming from many different places. Um, and so I wish the trend continues to grow, I wish the trend continues to evolve, and the trend essentially establishes what it could be to be a place that is welcoming for everybody.